so y'all know what I'm doing right now. You know, we're trying to revert the girls back, okay? Um, this was a really big revealing moment because I haven't straightened my hair for six years for a reason. <laughs> and it was definitely because I was afraid of heat because I felt like my hair did not know how to react when it came to heat being put on my hair. Like, when I say it didn't know how, it just didn't know how to revert back. Like, some areas did, but oh my god. Like, a lot of the areas were, like, tripping out. So I just stopped using heat for all those years. But as you can see, I'm just using a wide tooth comb and then switching between a rat tail, or a rat tail comb. And, um, y'all, I have dandruff. Something's wrong with my scalp. I don't know what, but I'm secretly dying. <laughs> process of reverting my natural hair or reverting my straight hair back to my natural hair I'm just gonna be doing a hot oil treatment I haven't actually done this in a long time and I'm just starting to like realize how important it is to take care of your hair your scalp you know just self-care in general like oh my gosh I did not take care of my hair for the past year I probably wash my hair every month or two months in in a natural state like that's disgusting um in high school i washed my hair every week because like i did have such a crazy scalp but i just neglected my hair for the last year i've been very busy and i regret that but um now i'm just going to be massaging my scalp you know making sure that all the oil gets in there i had put it in the microwave for about like 30 seconds maybe 45 to make it like super warm and just applying that directly to my scalp to open up the pores let it seep in you know allow my scalp to get some moisture because it is so freaking dry but i would have used olive oil but all i had was grapeseed oil i also had avocado but that's for my food y'all <laughs> process I did get a lot of shedding because I did not comb my hair like throughout having straight hair I was just braiding it every single night like in two braids and getting that wavy look and I really 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 liked it a lot more than straight hair because it just shaped my face a lot better but yeah my hair shedded a lot for like I want to say two weeks because I think I had this in for two weeks so it it was definitely um going to be a lot of shedding. So I'm not sure if this is what all the naturals have been using, but I'm also a braider and every client has told me that they have been using this specific brand like Dove hair care and i've only used like their body soap so when i saw that they had like shampoo and conditioner and stuff i was like what and it works for black people like what so i'm not sure if i entirely got the right one but all i know is that it smells really good because i found myself asking every single time like what did you use to wash your hair like it smelled delicious oh my god but fast forwarding we are now just going to section the hair off and we're going to take it slow we just gonna apply some conditioner, you know, rake it through our hair. My hair felt super thin as I was doing sections. I was like, dang, my hair is this thin. <laughs> but when it's natural, it feels super thick. I don't know. But yeah, it took forever for my curls to start forming. I was honestly, I was getting a little scared, as you can see. It was kind of getting like, um, what's going on? <laughs>
excited and happy because I see my curls reverting back. But not only that, at this moment, they're super loose. My hair is like a kinky, coily type of texture. And like me looking at this, I'm like, oh snap, did it just loosen my curls? And I wasn't going to be that mad about it because it would be easier to do my hair. Like, I'm super surprised because I was like, what is going on? Like my 3C, 4A texture is not existing at the moment it's acting like a type 3 3b texture at the moment for me so i was just like i don't know but at the same time i wouldn't have been mad y'all about reverting my hair back is I was thinking a lot about like what type of products my hair would need in order to like maintain its curls continue to be moisturized you know all that and above and I did the porosity test just like I tried one of the ways to figure out my porosity and it was basically like filling the cup up with water and then putting like strands of hair inside the um, cup of water and so i only put one strand of hair it was a long piece of hair i think that it was actually straight at the time and i saw it revert in the water which was funny and then it was in there for like three hours and it was still floating at the top like i was like dang do i have high porosity here because i always thought that i had low porosity like my hair takes forever to dry like it will literally product will sit on top of my hair it will not it won't suck it up for nothing my scalp will but my hair won't that's why i hate doing wash and goes because it takes forever like it takes days for it to actually be fully dry so yeah like that's just something that i was thinking about during this reverting process I can't even do an intro right but <sighs> the bounce okay let's get into detail okay, cool. all right so I have to rush but I'm so thankful for Miss Erica. I don't think anybody understands how happy and blessed I am to have my curls back. Like, oh my God. Like, oh my God. She knows how to do hair. Like, she took care of me with love, TLC. I'm sorry, I'm being dramatic, but it's really the truth. I got my hair straightened six years ago um just to after my big chop just to trim it and make it even and unfortunately my auntie did my hair and she used too much heat like so for my hair to really fully revert like shrink up be bouncy um i am just like look at this it's a curl guys like it's like there's no straight pieces i don't see any like at all i've never i was honestly very nervous for this moment because i'm like oh shit it's not curling back it's not curling back like come on come on come on but it's here and i'm just so blessed and so happy that i'm still a natural girl um i feel like my hair may be easier to manage but i'm not sure it's still very thick it feels kind of heavy but all in all, like, 
again she did what she needed to do she did what needed to be done okay like i could see me doing a little style with my hair right now but anyway um the press if you haven't seen my silk press video go watch it there will be a card up here and um you know just go watch it um the stylist is there her name is erica the press experience is great um as far as myself like my scalp i have a crazy scalp it's disgusting like i get a lot of dandruff or like i don't know but erica was trying to educate me on like the dandruff and different types of like cradle cap sabor something like all these different types of scalp issues and psoriasis and things like that i don't know which one i have but something is definitely flying off my scalp and it's disgusting i noticed my scalp getting dry like literally on the third day it was like a flake like right here and that happens often in the winter as well but even still it was crazy i'll be doing some more curly tutorials and all that maybe i'll try and do a wash and go now because my hair don't look like this and i know that i can elongate it with the banding method and stuff like that so look at this curls 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 give me life okay tune in for the next video see you guys later bye